Hello, super quick intro. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can solve the Hanayama Helix puzzle. Which means I'm gonna show you the one single position that you need to be in to separate that ring from those two spinning helix pieces. And then how you can do the reverse to put it back into its original helix puzzle position. Let's get straight on with it. Okay, so here we have an almost fully assembled helix puzzle. I say almost because we're actually in slightly a different orientation than what the original position is based on these two helix pieces together. But that doesn't matter for right now because I'm in the wrong position intentionally because it helps me show you a move that you are probably going to need. So the first thing we need to deal with is the orientation. The orientation of these two helix pieces relative to where the ring piece is. So obviously there's five gaps on each of the two helix pieces and we need to be in one of those gaps specifically. And you may or may not have noticed this already, but one of those gaps has a slight gap in its border, which you can see just here. Now we need to work our way around to start with until we get into that position. So that's what we're going to do to start with. We're going to, wherever you are on your helix puzzle, just work your way around. And this, this part's the easy part, just moving around until you get into the top helix piece as you are looking at it. We want to be in that gap in this position in here. Now comes the tricky part of getting the back helix piece in the right position as well. And it's also to do with the gap. So these are exactly the same pieces on each side. So it doesn't matter which side you're looking at it. But now what we need to do is orientate the gap on the opposite side until it's up in this position up here. Now for me, as I look at it, it's not in that position as I'm as I am right now. But to make it easier for you to see and so that we're not swapping from side to side the whole time, we're going to stay looking at this piece, which is the side that we have already sorted where the gap is. We're going to stay looking at this piece and move the bottom helix around to in a way that we're going to orientate that position as well or that piece as well. So what we're going to do, so the gap should be here, but it's not for me. So what I need to do is move around the helix so move down to that bottom position and then twist the bottom helix around so I'm still in the same position I was on this front side however now if I check and yeah we do now happen to be in the right position if I if I wasn't then I would just repeat that move again come down to this part here turn the helix turn the back helix until I got the gap on the back piece up here so I just need to undo what I did there because I was in the right position before. So once we're here, we need to check we've got the gap in here on the front, we've got the gap in here on the back. We can double check it so you can see it there. So the gap is here and the gap is here. Now for the ring piece, we are going to half come through this gap up here. So half come through here. We're then going to slightly turn the front helix clockwise, like a, a fifth of a turn. And once you've got it into the right position, you will feel that you've got a bit of a twisting movement, or you've got room to do a bit of a twist with that ring piece. Once you've got this twist, or once you're in this position, so you, you can twist the ring, you're then going to hold it in its twisted position and turn the top helix anti-clockwise for a whole one turn so if this piece went to here once we're in this position we're going to do just a half turn more so we end up here and when we're in this position we can then just very gently wiggle that ring piece and separate the helix puzzle just like that and for putting the helix puzzle back together, again, the first thing we need to deal with is the orientation of these two helix pieces. The good news is that for taking it apart, it's much harder than it is for what we're about to do, which is put it back together. Because obviously we can turn these quite easily without this ring piece getting in the way. So now we need the gaps in this position up here. So obviously, again, we've got these five gaps and in one of those gaps, there is a, a gap in its border. And I'm using gap twice there, which can be a bit confusing, but we're looking for that flat bit there. 
and on the opposite side we want the gap to be in this position here so what the top gap here back gap here and once we've got that we're then going to sort of half anti-clockwise turn the top piece so that we can then slide the ring piece in to this position here so from a front on view we're almost at a perpendicular position so again if this is a straight line here this is a straight line here that's where we want to be perpendicular if we flip it over we want to be the opposite we want to be parallel so we're in almost laying in the gap with that gap piece in that position in there now once we've got this position we're going to hold the ring in place and we're going to undo the half anti-clockwise turn that we did however when we do that half turn we want this part of the ring to go from that gap and jump up onto the actual border so that'll make more sense when you see it so as we turn we want to be in a position where we jump up onto that border there and you're going to need to hold the ring in position here otherwise it's good there's a danger of it just falling straight back off once you've got this position the next move almost does itself if you turn the helix the right way so we're going to turn the top helix piece clockwise and the ring sort of turns itself until it's back into its original position and then to get the true original position for the helix we just need to rotate the ring back around to this shorter gap in here and you'll also know that you're in the right position as well because the helix Hanayama engraving is there relative to where we are and that is how you reassemble the helix puzzle so there it is that is how you disassemble and then reassemble the helix puzzle for me the hardest part was getting in the right position on both sides of the helix moving just one piece and staying in the same place on one side hopefully what i've showed you is an easy to follow way of doing that and hopefully this has helped you solve the helix puzzle for yourself if you do have any issues or anything then comment below and i will do my very best to help you where it is needed and thank you very much for being here if you want to see me struggle through the helix puzzle for the first time or any of these other hanayama puzzles and the step-by-step -step solutions to all of these other ones then be sure to click my face here to subscribe and i will see you next time peace